this was a short video to introduce you on, on, on what we what we will explain. Um, I will give you a, a brief overview of, of how it works. Uh, each luminaire uh, adds, uh, incorporates a node which will measure how, how the luminaire works. Okay? And uh, those uh, those nodes communicate via uh, RF radio frequency to uh, concentrators forming subnets of uh, 1,000 luminaires and those uh, concentrators are connected to the internet via standard cellular connection and uh, to cloud servers and all the, the telemanagement will be connecting to the, to the cloud servers. Well, I would like to to start with, with, the, with the end, with the conclusions. Uh, the benefits of adopting a smart control system, in our experience, uh, uh, was that it contributed to raise the uptime of the illumination system to the, to the, to the illumination infrastructure. And at the same time, we were lowering the maintenance and the electricity costs. This is what we believe is the, the biggest uh, outcome of, uh, of implementing a control system. Uh, if you can see, the, there is a higher efficacy in, in Buenos Aires. The average uh, time to repair a, a luminaire dropped from 22 days to 4.5 days after implementing the control system, and uh, that uh, that uh, impacted the neighbor satisfaction, the claims uh, that we were uh, receiving at, at, the, at the municipality dropped by 40 percent. And uh, in the polls that uh, the government uh, regularly makes, illumination is uh, has a 80% of uh, approval of the citizens. Uh, and at the same time, due to to the fact that the luminaires are uh, spontaneously giving us a lot of information, we could reduce we could reduce the the, the maintenance uh, expenditure because uh, the luminaire. Uh, gives us uh, actionable data and hence make the, the maintenance uh, procedures more uh, effective. And also, as uh, my colleague explained, uh, there's also a little savings after the big savings, uh, you, uh, the cities will have it, uh, lidifying, uh, changing from standard luminous to LED. But uh, there's still an additional 50% that you can say if you apply dealing profiles. Well, this is one uh, of uh, As you can see, it's 100% LED. LED. You, you can see the white light is, is the city of Buenos Aires. It has uh, over 150,000 luminaires equipped, all, all of them with, uh, with smart, uh, smart controls. 2013, 90,000 were awarded to Philips, and uh, in 2018, uh, 60,000 were awarded to Smart Nation with General Electric. Uh, General Electric was supplying the luminaires and we were supplying the smart system. What I, what I will what I will explain is uh, I will show you some features and lessons learned and, and the technical responses we gave to all those uh, identified issues. Uh, we, we, I will not explain all the features that our system has, but only those that uh, became relevant after after four years of operating 90,000 uh, luminaires and, and uh, the technical responses to give to, we gave to each identified problem. Problem number one, uh, the information that matters is related to three things, infrastructure availability, maintenance performance, and power consumption. Many systems have a lot of technical information that uh, at the end of the day were not, uh, were not actionable information. So uh, we got the, the direction from our customer to really focus on showing 
what needs what needs to be fixed and which with priority. Okay. And there are lots of, uh, of examples of how we use data. But, uh, for instance, uh, there are daily reports uh, where where you can where you can contrast the plant works versus the luminaries that are back on, on, on the working and the, and the KPIs uh, for the maintenance contractors because with that information they could implement uh, incentives and penalties to the maintenance uh, performing companies. Another problem, uh, the, the system cannot, uh, cannot know uh, external factors. If if uh, there is, a, for instance, if there are uh, a public works uh, and and they, if they have to work on, on, and do working on, on the streets, they will they will switch off the electricity. So all those luminaries will 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 appear in the system as offline. Those are luminaries that we want to to fix. We we want to take care of, of those. No, we we don't want because we know there is an, an external cause that that creates that. Uh, that uh, 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 anomaly. So uh, what we what we implemented were uh, functions to, to cross data from external sources. And uh, in the case of the in, in the case of the example I gave, uh, all those all, all those alarms, all those active alarms, which have a known cause, we can filter it and, and assign this cause and. Uh, automatically, those alarms will will disappear from the system. Will not uh, account for the KPIs of the maintenance companies. And uh, after after the, the works are, are finished, those luminaries will, will be back uh, communicating, and, and those alarms will be won't won't uh, won't uh, uh, pollute, won't, won't disturb disturb uh, the information. Another thing, uh, as you know, each each uh, control node has a power meter, a built-in power meter, and uh, and it gives information. But uh, if that information is not uh, recognized uh, by by the utility company, uh, they won't agree to charge the municipality upon consumption because they don't believe in, in the information or they don't they don't have a, a trusted uh, energy meter. What we need is uh, we certify our uh, the, the built-in power meter in our nodes, so that the, the the city now agreed with the electricity companies to be charged by by effective consumption and, and not by by census. And it was before. Another another lesson. Uh, most commonly, there are uh, 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 in, in, uh, another another systems we've seen. They, they they incorporate protection against lightnings. Lightnings when, when it, where lightning uh, can burn all the all the equipment around. But uh, in our experience, uh, in the cities there are no lightnings because uh, they are they are they are uh, catched by by, by, by the high buildings uh, protections. So you want uh, in, 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 uh, in uh, the, uh, the fact that we saw is that uh, uh, there weren't uh, burn lights because of, the, of lightings, but because of errors in the handling of, the, of the electricity. May the electricity workers often lose the, the neutral, and when they do that, the, the voltage, the over voltage reaches. 380 up to 380 volts, but in a continuous way, not as a lighting, which is a lot of, of uh, volts in, in some milliseconds, but continuously. And what happens is that uh, all those luminaries will be burnt uh, because they are exposed for 10 minutes to, to 380 volts or whatsoever. So uh, the the solution we, we we had is making our our uh, our node. Uh, being able to work with up to 420 volts and measure how the voltage is uh, evolving. So when it, when it reaches 270, which is 
nearby the maximum that the drivers allow, it will cut the electricity and uh, protect the luminar and itself. So, uh, so with, with that simple, with that simple solution, the damaged luminaires uh, caused by loss of neutral drop to zero in a So it's, uh, that, that, that is another another lesson is uh, no matter if there is a if there is a back office uh, online or if, if there is a communication problem or whatsoever, the light has to turn on when it, when the night comes and it has to turn off when the day comes. That's something that it's non negotiable, that has to work. And the systems have, even though the best systems can have a downtime, so, uh, or there can be communication problems. So uh, we incorporated the light sensors, so in, in its most uh, rudimentary state, uh, they, they know if, if he doesn't know the time or, or, or whatever, he will know if, if there is light, he will turn off, and if there is no light, he will turn off. That allows also uh, uh, when another thing we, we learned is that the, when, when when there are the, the planning of the of the deployment uh, of the systems, most commonly they they, they won't follow the, the the most convenient way to form the RF communication systems. So. Often we find that they, they install the system in isolated areas where there's no uh, no communication with the, with the, with the concentrators yet. So with this system there's there's no problem. They they can they can put it and, and the system will, as a factory setting will start working right away and will turn on and turn off. And afterwards when the when when they finish the, the, the works and, and they can configure. Uh, it will it will start uh, feeding the system uh, with the uh, information, but for the time being it it, it worked. It worked. Uh, there is no impact in the system. Another thing that uh, we saw is that uh, the, the human configuration errors when when they when they are uh, setting up the system happens. This this happens, and uh, and it was very difficult on on. Uh, it was uh, very expensive to identify where was the luminaire because they say you, you can see it in the system and then you're turning, up, uh, turning it on and off, but it's not there. So uh, what we what we did is we added GPSs in each luminaire. That's that 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 creates uh, that corrects uh, those kind of errors. Another thing that. Uh, Colleague also mentioned there's the need of uh, of uh, interoperability. You, you 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 need to buy different luminaires from, and, and you cannot uh, be bound to one supplier. So the use of NEMA seven and the standard dimming interfaces makes this. Uh, we also have uh, we also have uh, DALI. Going beyond in this line. Uh, not only for luminaries, but also if a municipality or, or a city owner wants to to buy systems from other uh, uh, control uh, suppliers, they should be able to do that. So uh, the, the, the requirement we got is that uh, our system is fully open and documented, and, uh, and the interoperability is implemented. <coughs> Between the central management system and the gateways or concentrators, there's no, there's, uh, it's very difficult to implement the interoperability at the at the nodes at the luminaire level, because if you remember these are, there are several communication technologies, and not and not all the not all the suppliers have the same technology, but when it comes to concentrators or gateways, they are all in. in IP world, so uh, it's uh, it's much easier, and you can define uh, an open standard protocol, and and, and it's uh, both uh, 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 it's feasible at economically and uh, at a contractual standpoint, because you can you can really measure how it's performing in system, and if there is a problem, where is it?
also uh, it is necessary to count with a system that best prorata capex cost yeah? and also opex cost. So uh, we we created a system that can handle up to a thousand luminaires per per concentrator. Concentrators, if you remember, uh, they they have connection to internet and you have to pay recurrent uh, communication costs. So uh, we we try to minimize the amount of concentrators. You have. The last one is uh, it's also a good feature keeping keeping uh, track of all the assets and even though they don't have uh, even though they don't have uh, the, the smart controls on it because uh, usually you can you can start with a part of the city implementing smart controls in a part of the city but but from day one you would need you would like to have uh, uh, keeping a, a track of all your all the illumination assets of the city so this is something that great and it's very useful for our customers. Well, that, that was uh, the, the, the aspects that uh, we identified. The, these are, these are the, the contracts we've got in, in, in 2018, last year. 60,000 fixtures in Buenos Aires, uh, around 7,000 fixtures in Rosario, and also a couple of projects. Uh, this is also about our, our company. This is our, another product, which is uh, decorative lightings, and uh, these are monuments that uh, that we we do the telemanagement of those monuments. So uh, this is very much it. If uh, if you have further questions, because I didn't explain all the features, and you want to further know about it, uh, I I will be in booth uh, Z2 J3. So if you want. Uh, Thank you very much.